This tutorial is for 5th grade, Module 3, Lesson 1b. In this lesson, we're going to use the number line and fraction models to create equivalent fractions. The first question says, estimate to mark points 0 and 1 above the number line, and then we're going to plot 0, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, and 6, 6 below it. I'll start by putting my 0 and 1 in place. I'm going to use the entire tape. So I'll put 0 at one end and 1 at the other. So the section between 0 and 1 represents my 1 whole. Since I have to divide the number line into 6, and 6 is an even number, I'm going to start by marking my halfway point. That will help me with my estimation. I know that the 0 would represent 0 sixths, and the 1 whole would represent 6 6. Anytime my numerator and my denominator are the same, that's telling me I have 6 of the pieces out of the 6 that it needs to make a whole. Halfway would be 3 6 because 3 is half of 6. Now I just need to plot my other points. I know that I will have 3 sections on each side of the halfway point because that will give me all 6 of my sections. So I have 0 6 1 6, 2 6, my 3 6 is already there, 4 6, and 5 6. It's important to, for students to see that one whole, again, is the same as 6 6. Now we're going to look at equivalent fractions on a fraction model. This question says draw one vertical line down the middle of each rectangle, creating two parts. I've already done that portion of the problem. Shade the left half of each. You can see I've also shaded in the left half of each fraction model. Partition with horizontal lines to show the equivalent fractions 2 fourths, 3 sixths, 4 eighths, and 5 tenths. And then we're going to use multiplication to show how this changes the unit in each model. The first problem has been started for us. We have 1 half, and we want to show that 1 half is equal to 2 fourths. To do that, I'm just going to divide the entire rectangle into four pieces. So I have four sections, and two of those sections are now shaded. So I have two sections shaded out of the four pieces. To get my four pieces, I doubled the amount of pieces in the model. So instead of having one shaded piece, I multiplied that times two. That gave me the two shaded pieces. And instead of having 2 as my denominator, because I started with 2 sections that made up the whole, I now have 4 pieces that make up the whole. So this shows that 1 half, the shaded portion, is the same as 2 fourths. Next we're going to show how 1 half is the same as 3 sixths. This time I'm going to draw 2 horizontal lines. That gives me six pieces that make up my whole. When I drew those lines, I tripled the amount of shaded pieces I had, and I tripled the number of pieces I had in all. So now if I count my shaded pieces, I have three out of the six pieces altogether. This shows that one half is the same thing as three sixths. To show that 1 half is equal to 4 eighths, I'll divide my rectangle into 8 pieces. And when I did that, I multiplied each section by 4. So instead of having one piece shaded, I now have four shaded pieces. And instead of having two pieces that made up the whole, I now have eight pieces that make up the whole. And this shows that one half is equal to four eighths. To show that one half is equal to five tenths, I need to divide the fraction model into ten pieces. So I'm going to draw my horizontal lines, and I've now created ten pieces, and I did that by multiplying the number of shaded pieces by 5, and the number of pieces in all by 5. 
Now I have five shaded pieces out of the ten pieces that make up the whole. And this shows me that one half is equal to five tenths.